Hey everyone, finally I have been working a long time trying to completely redo the physics system of Jet Island. I really meant for this to just be like a one, maybe two week thing, but it's almost been two months of me working on this new system. And uh, basically I've gotten everything to the way that it originally was in Jet Island, but now a lot better so let me demonstrate some stuff uh, let me try to line up actually wait here I can turn the camera this way but yeah now if I push my head into a wall it's perfectly smooth like walls just feel like completely solid like it just feels like it's a real wall so it doesn't feel like the walls pushing you out it just feels completely solid so that's something that uh, took me a long time to figure out so when you're hanging on a wall like this with your hook shots even if you push your face into it it just feels completely rock solid and like it should uh, what are some of the other differences that I've done uh, there's a lot of stuff going on like under the hood of the game uh, that just make the programming a lot better for me. So I really wanted to redo the programming because it was just turning into a complete jumbled mess. And it was really hard to do any sort of modifications to the physics system at all because I've just been developing it for so long. So it got to the point where I couldn't really like modify it and improve it without breaking a bunch of things. So I've redone all the code and now anytime I want to add a new feature to the game, it should be a lot easier for me to do. Uh, here's another situation where the collision detection just works like perfectly. Here I am in like a crevice and I can even go into even more extreme crevices uh, without uh, anything uh, messing up. Like let me, let's see, here, here's a good example. So before, like, if you got, let me change the camera angle, if you got, like, a ton of speed and tried, like, going in between two, uh, I don't know, surfaces like that, you would just, like, squeeze between those surfaces and you'd glitch out of the map. But now I've just made it, like, completely rock solid. I know a lot of the uh, speedrunners for Jet Island actually took advantage of that glitch and used it as a way of glitching through a wall and uh, beating the game quicker. So <laughs> now that should uh, be an extra challenge for speedrunners. Alright, so here is uh, another example of when you are standing between two surfaces coming together. If I crouch, I can actually get in between the surfaces, like, I can, like, make my body smaller. But then when I stand up, it pushes me out, like, exactly as I'm standing up. So, uh, before, like, your head would go through the ceiling. But now, <laughs> this looks funny in real life. But like now as I stand, it just like pushes me out like at the exact same amount. So it just feels so much more solid. Like all of the collisions just feel really, really solid now. There we go. Yeah, before when you're like hanging on the side of a wall, like there'd be just a little bit of stutter, especially like a slanted wall. But now it's just completely smooth. It's just like perfect now. All right, let's really test this out to the extreme and go through this hyper tube at full speed, like super, super full speed, like even faster than you normally would in the game. Let's see, I'm going at 400 miles per hour right now, 600 miles per hour. We got no glitches, everything's working perfectly. Hit this boost pad, gotta charge up. Go through a loop-de-loop. -loop. 600 miles per hour and no glitches at all it's completely rock solid so that used to be a problem in the game just like going through one of those walls while going like a thousand miles per hour through one of those tubes but that is just completely fixed now or at least I'm pretty sure all of the testing I've done it's completely fixed I'm sure somebody will go through a wall at some point but I'm pretty certain it's gonna happen way less now all right, now I've made the super jets even more powerful, so let's check out some of these collisions. So far, so good. We're not going through any walls. Uh, <laughs> one of the things I would do just over and over again, let's see if I can line up the camera, I would fly towards this mountain over here, and I'd try to make it so that I can hit the mountain up to like 
20,000 miles per hour. Here I'm at, uh, that was about 2,000 miles per hour. No problem. Let's try to go even faster. Let me wait until I'm recharged all the way and full speed and hit the wall at 3,300 miles per hour and we did not go through the wall. Uh, so I've done tests where I've gone up to like 20,000 miles per hour straight slamming into a wall and not glitching out. So I think the collision detection system is a lot better now. So I really worked on trying to make the collisions both perfect when you're moving slowly and perfect when you're going at ridiculous speed. So it's like the perfect collision detection system. And I'm going through this tube here. Let's really push it. Ah, that was like a thousand miles per hour. <laughs> so yeah, you can travel a thousand miles per hour through this hyper tube and the collisions still work perfectly. So it was a lot of work, but I think it uh, was worth it in the end. I, I wish it didn't take two months to make this, but I guess that's game development sometimes. It just, things take longer than you expect. All right, so the other thing that I've been working on perfecting is moving platforms. So here I am standing on the giant worm. I'm now traveling at uh, 75 miles per hour just standing on it. But uh, yeah, I worked really hard trying to make sure the moving platform system uh, worked perfectly and it is so much smoother than it used to be. This final boss fight really pushes the moving platforms to the limit. I know one glitch that for sure happens is if you touch two moving platforms at the same time, you will fly away at a thousand miles per hour. So let me demonstrate that. I try to find two moving platforms that I can touch at the same time. Here we go. So I'll touch these two walls and boom, <laughs> I fly away at a thousand miles per hour. I'm pretty confident I'll be able to fix that in the next couple of days because uh, I know when it happens. It happens when you touch two moving platforms at the same time and I've narrowed it down to a variable that's like just way higher than it should be. So I at least uh, am going to be able to track down this glitch and I know what to work on to try to fix that. So that is the next thing I need to fix. If I can fix that, I think the moving platform code is going to be just about perfect. So yeah, the moving platforms are just way better now. Like you can see, this is like pushing me, but it's completely smooth. Like before it just used to like stutter just a little bit when it would push you but now it just feels like a rock solid wall just like when you try to push your face into a wall it's a subtle difference i think you know it could just be my imagination but i swear the ground and walls they just feel more solid now and no matter what speed you're going you pretty much will not glitch through any wall it's really really difficult to glitch through a wall now so yeah it's been a lot of work but i think think it is worth it and especially in the code itself like I still got to clean it up but at least the way that I laid everything out it uh, should be a lot easier to maintain and add new features I have a lot of ideas of new features I want to add to the game but also I uh, have a bunch of ideas of things that I want to add like I think that I'm going to be able to do uh, grinding and I'm really excited about adding grinding to the game uh, I also think I want to make it so you can use your hands to push yourself out of walls push yourself up on top of ledges man just spending the past like two months I've been slamming my face into walls at thousands of miles per hour so I'm really glad uh, this is all working now I think that is everything that I wanted to talk about in this video, so hopefully in the next video I'll have some more new stuff to show utilizing this new physics system. So until my next episode, I will see you later, and keep making games. And I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> this collision detection system works really good. <laughs> okay, I'm actually getting legitimately dizzy from this. Okay, taking the headset off. Oh, wow.